Earth's population has now passed 7 billion. And world energy consumption is projected to increase more than 25% during the next 15 years. And may nearly double by the year 2050. But how much energy we need, and how we get it, depends on choices we make now. And those energy choices have consequences for Earth's climate. We already see the promise of 21st century renewables. But today, most big nations still rely on 19th century technologies. At a global perspective, we simply know that the age of cheap energy is over. Innovative projects prove that wind can power entire communities. And conservation and efficiency can cut projected world energy demand 30% by 2030. But how to get there? That's not just a technological question of solar cells and wind turbines, but depends on choices made by real people living in the real world. And that means economics and politics, national security, jobs, why we do what we do. I'm Richard Alley. I'm an earth scientist, a parent, and a professor, concerned for my kids and my students' future. I've studied our planet's changing ice sheets in climate history and tried to come up with numbers for how much renewable energy our planet offers. Geologist Richard Alley is one of the 97% of climate experts who believe current energy practices are warming the planet. But that answers are out there. Blowing in the wind, shining down from above, and in the minds of inventors and engineers.